Hello, I'm Ed Trism, and welcome back to Production Line Alpha. Uh, we've got a few things to do. Firstly, you see over here, we've got like, make hood, make roll cage, etc. Actually, the hood is over here, and there's no connection between the two. Like, we should probably put a connection in. Uh, thank you, we've got the ability to make sheet steel. That's great. Uh, I was actually going to focus on something else. I guess we could do the power plant efficiency. It's easy to do. It'll save us money. You know how much I hate saving money. That is the wrong side, technically. Should be that side. Right. Hopefully that'll take a little bit of the pressure off. Yeah, that's fine. The only issue we're having is like up here where it's providing all the manufacturing steel. Like a lot of people have said, by the way, don't why don't I put like manufacturing in a separate place? Uh, that's great. I got the uh, power plant efficiency nice and quick. Let's do high speed conveyors. And the reason I don't is because then you'd have to transfer the stuff from the manufacturing area, say it was here, to over here. And that would actually cause bottlenecks as things slow down, asking for more valves or more wheels. Things that use four of at a time or whatever. And it would actually just cause this to grind to a halt. It wouldn't actually help. Goddamn steel. Uh, right. Weren't we going to do some upgrading of power plants? Yes, it's going to take absolutely ages. The reason I'm doing it is mostly because the comment section were telling me to. It gives us 8% power with no long-term cost. An upfront cost, so, you know, obviously with an upfront cost and a long-term saving, eventually it will come out even. And I have like 2 million sitting in the bank right now, so I might as well, you know... Spend the upfront cost for long-term savings. It's basic finance. If you've got, if you've got a surplus, long-term savings. If you've got a deficit, short-term savings. I mean, that's assuming you can't actually borrow money. If you can borrow money, you borrow money and do savings for the long term when you've got a deficit. Economy 101 with EE. Uh, yes, I don't want to expand. Sorry. Let's click there. Power of power. Still need to make like a load more. This is the reason I haven't done the power upgrading, by the way. It just takes so damn long. I kind of would like a button that when you uh, when you like research an upgrade, you could just apply it to everything that needs it in your entire like plant. Just be like, I would like to apply this to my entire plant at a cost of X. You know. Thank you. Uh, fast moving cars. We will get. Climate control? Sure. Done all of those. Did I do all these? No. Do that. Do that. Okay, and our power is okay. Oh, no, we're back into the red again. <sighs> oh, these are just uh, production areas. It's not actually power. Are you power? No. I'm just going to build more power. It gets a bit tiring after a time. Guess I'll upgrade these as well. Now, we should probably make some sheet steel. Question is, where needs it? Because we'll need to be like pushing it around the map. Um, who is importing sheet steel currently? I honestly don't think there's many places. Like, There's definitely over here needs sheet steel. For making hoods. Who else needs sheet steel? Is that really it? Might just be the one place. Which seems a bit weird. Considering there's a whole, you know, unlock making sheet steels, but whatever. I didn't realize that they're not called sheet steels. It is just sheet steel. Right, so if that's there, I guess we could connect. Right, how, how often do you make something? Every four... Yeah, it's fine. Right. Uh, thank you for the climate control. That's absolutely perfect. Um, leather interior? Yeah, why not? Which one is the import and which one's the export? Blue's import, that's export, okay. So export to there, and then we've got to allow it to export over here. T 
technically it is connected, I think. No, it's not. It just isn't connected. Okay, let's try and connect it. Like up here somehow. I guess. Try not to get stuff flowing this way down the pipe, but we'll see. Right. Uh, good voice recognition. Something will take a little while. Because I want to watch the sheet steel, see if it actually moves. In theory, it should do. But it's not actually moving right now. Why are you not moving? In theory, you can make your way over here. And there's empty, like, slots for steel sheets. In fact, is that an imported steel sheet? It is. Yeah, we're just going to build steel sheets and actually going to go nowhere. I guess it's just easier to import them. Hmm. Oh well. <sighs> I guess we'll do some upgrading of our lovely, lovely car then. We're still losing money. We just aren't selling cars now. Let's reduce our margins on this car to 6%. We'll reduce our margins here to about 12%. That doesn't seem to be selling cars either. Uh-oh. Um, automatic windscreen wipers. Okay, let's reduce our margins here to 3%. And reduce our margin here to just under 9. Oh dear god. Not making any money. Okay, well, 1%. 5%. Oh, we're barely selling. We are selling some. I think we need to get our upgrades in. Alright, so our first upgrade. Those are vehicles. I didn't want the vehicle. No, I don't want extra robots. No. Drive shaft. No. Undercarriage. No. Fuel tank. Uh, do Bluetooth fence support. No. Roll cage. Yes, aluminium body is the roll cage. So let's add aluminium body there. Hood. I don't think there's any upgrades to be done there. No. Uh, bumper. Bumper. I don't think there's anything. We'll just double check. No. Bottom trim. Front arch. Rear arch. Vent. Roof. Yeah, now we've got panoramic uh, sunroof and sunroof. I think they stack. Yeah, you can have both of them. They're not like and or. Sorry, they're not or. They are and. So we'll upgrade for those. Door panels. Oh, there's a load of stuff we can have in door panels, and we don't have it. Oh, well. Windows, that's making windows. Uh, door panels again. Wing mirrors. No, nothing there. Paint. Nothing, 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 no, like, NOS system we can have? No, okay. Exhaust. Really super loud, obnoxious exhaust. No, okay. Spare wheel? No. Tires? Can we, like, super grip? Tire pressure sensor? Don't have that unlocked. Brake? Loads of stuff we can have on brakes. Steering column? No. Steering wheel? No. Lights? No. Horn? Get like a fancy horn that goes ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da, ba ba da 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 Leather interior. There we go. And a heater. We didn't have a heater. Maybe that's why they're not selling well. Okay. Then what? We've got windscreens. Automatic wipers.
windscreen, automatic wipers, windscreen, automatic wipers. Okay, so this is confusing, right? They come down here, they go in like here, here, and here, then they come out. I can't remember. Wing mirrors. We did. Oh, we did. That goes up there. Okay. Aircon. We've definitely got an upgrade here. Climate control. And then Q&A. Okay, sweet. Hopefully that upgrade will be worth it. Sell some more cars. How are we doing supplying our stuff? Eh, still a little bit iffy. Right. Now, because we've got multiple cars coming through, they're all going to get different upgrades at different stages because we did all the upgrades before the cars had passed through. Um, this is going to be annoying. Like, we've just got the climate control on this one. And the next one's going to have, what was it, the one back from that, like, heated seats and stuff. So, you're going to be the, I don't know, what was I calling my cars? Car face? Yeah, they were the car faces. So, your car face is like two. And I would like a 7% margin for now. There we go. Oh, it was automatic windscreen wipers. Car face, 2.1. I hope putting a bullet point in there, like a full stop, is not going to like break it. Decimal point, that's what I was going for. Car face, 2.2. We're going to get this a lot. Like, this is a little bit of a pet peeve of the current alpha, is that this happens, and you get multiple different types. I'm not sure how I'd fix it. You'd have to, like, declare at the start or something. Uh, what else do we want? What about some, like, these upgrades here we haven't got? Like, safety features. Anti-lock braking, etc. People expect safety features in their cars. I know they're weird. Safety features unlocked. Lane departure warning. No anti-lock brakes, but we're going to have lane departure warnings. All those lovely accessories and none of the safety. That's the E-way. Look at that, though. Our cars are down to, like, less than 30. Damn. Doing pretty well. Should have the next car face coming through soon. And it's not a reference to Kari McCarface, it's a reference to Scarface, but without the F. I imagine, like, the promotional pictures are going to be, like, tied into Scarface. And, like, the tagline will be, say hello to my little friend. Maybe it's a bit niche. Still waiting to see the, pan like, panoramic sunroofs coming along. Then departure warnings. Let's get some, like, driver assist and security features, why not? Where are my panoramic sunroofs? I guess painting takes a while, but still. You can see... There we go. You can see them here. Oh, there we go. There's like a mixed load here. Like some of them have it, some of them don't. Uh, ooh, what did we get? We just got... Powered steer... We don't have powered steering in our cars. That would explain why they're not selling. Kind of like powered steering. I'm just going to sell that. It's not actually doing anything. If I shift right click. Yeah, thank you for telling me that comment section. Shift right click allows you to not delete the thing underneath. Um, cruise control. Still want to see the like actual sunroofs come along. Takes a while for them to go through the entire production chain. Uh, we'll grab ourselves security features. We should. We don't need a central locking on our cars or a car alarm. Wow, we're so behind the times. The hell, we've got voice recognition. What else do you need? Oh, there we go. That's the first panoramic sunroof. Sweet. Central locking. It's kind of a necessity. I'm not liking how it's distributing our cars. Like, it's trying to favor one side of the path. 
Uh, Karam. Right, we've got two of these fit light things. We've got one, two, I've oh, got three of these, okay. That explains why we have to have a feedback lane. Like, quite often it's leaving that empty, because this one is... Yeah, because this one's a feeder, it decides that instead of waiting on a feeder, it wants to send pass. Ooh, we've got the very first one! Look at it! It's got a panoramic sunroof and leather interior. Oh, it's beautiful. You are the car face, and I hit the caps lock button. 2.3. I'm going to put like a better margin. Oh, we've got a lot of cars spare, actually. I'm going to go for like an 8% margin if we can manage it. What have we got a lot of? Oh, uh, sure, keyless entry. Why not? I've got 51 of these. Even though we're selling at a slight profit, let's decrease the profit to like 0.77%. If we get lower than that, we'll just have to start deleting this production chain. Three of you. 103 of you. Okay, we need to decrease the cost on that a little bit. Still not selling? Not really. Go down to just lower than 5%, I think. 4.5, that's okay. Um, do, 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 do. Anti lock brakes. I kind of feel that's necessary. Just, you know, it's kind of the things I kind of expect on a car these days. We are pretty f losing money pretty fast. It's not great. I'm going to stop production of headlight fluid. That car has kind of reached the end of its production value, I feel. Where was I importing from to start the chain? Bottom trim, blah, 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 blah. Fr fit front axle. There we go. I'll let any that have been, like, start to be produced pass through, but after that, yeah. Tire pressure sensor. Okay, why are we not, like, selling cars? It's an awful lot we've got backed up here. Sell these at a loss. Better to sell them than not sell them, so. Decrease you to... 3.5%. Decrease you to 1.5. Ooh. Car face 2.4. The recarding. And we're not make like, much on these. 3.5%. Really not selling any cars right now. Kind of worrying. Auto steer headlights. Really need to sell some cars. Okay, we've not sold any even at minus 5%. Let's go minus 10%. Minus 15. People just aren't buying our cars. Minus 30%. We sold a... There we go. We're selling a few now. Dear God, we're making such a loss on these. I'm going to decrease you to making a slight loss gonna go for a margin of like 1.5 percent do you need like more fancy like just add-ons is that what you need I don't know we might be we might be losing here just because I, I have no idea why we're not selling powered seats How are we doing? Alright, let's get ourselves some steering adjustments. Make ourselves some decent money here. Deleting equipment is always nicely profitable.
Oh, whoopsie. There we go. Those are actually needed. Uh, power tailgate. Why not? This is going to be the last headlight fluid. There it goes. Uh, let's get Satnav. Our surplus of cars is now less than 50. And it's just gone over, but, you know, selling reasonably. Okay, I'll leave them to do their job for now. I'm going to leave the power as it is, even though it's costing us a little bit of money, um, because we've just got excess, just because I'll probably use it for the next project. Let's get automatic headlights. Nearly got all the upgrades. How are we doing here? You're still having issues getting sold, even at minus 30%. We'll sell at minus 35, and we'll decrease you to 0.1%. Okay. Reversing camera. Before even getting like a driver airbag. We've got our priorities in a very strange order. And off you go. We're done. That's the last one. Again, they're starting to back up. Which is problematic. Look at that. Badass sunroofs. For aluminium bodies and everything. Cost us 20000 to make. Not bad for a car that's, you know, got this kind of pretty cool look to it. Hopefully in the final game there'll be like different types of car you can make, but uh, for now it's just the one. Although it, you know, kind of looks a lot different when you start messing around with the sunroof and everything. Uh, we'll go for adaptive cruise control. I kind of want to just get all the, like, little thrills and stuff and add them. And then we'll call it there for this episode once we've added everything. I guess I could delete stuff down here, it's just really tiring. It's not like you can hold right click and then use it like a button and like drag. Oh, right, so if you double right click, regardless if you've got shift held down, you delete something. Oopsie. I would really want like a delete brush or something. That's lovely. Heated seats. I will delete that because it's kind of in the way. Once we've done the research though, we could probably just get rid of like a lot of our power, uh, not power, research because we've got like these dudes sitting over here. They won't be necessary. In the far future. Mmm, deleting is fun. Uh, traffic. So we've got like four things to do. And then we've got everything unlocked. And really right now we are spending a lot of money on research. That'd be nice to cut costs. Because even though we're making like, you know, a percent or something on our vehicles, the downside is we're paying a lot in research. Like, that only includes the cost of the components that go into the vehicle. Doesn't really include wages as far as I'm aware. Doesn't include uh, cost of research. Doesn't include cost of power. It's expensive. It's kind of a terrible cost. Like, to be honest, if I ran a factory and someone was like, I was like, you know, how much does it cost to make this? And someone was like, oh, the components of this, I'd be like, right, well, you know, what about, you know, wages? Um, power? Maintenance? That kind of stuff. Oh, uh, well, we don't really count that. I'd be like, well, you're fired. That's a terrible costing. Or, you know, click the wrong tile because I can't tell what things are on. That's cool. There we go. 
Oh, wow. All of a sudden, like, tons of our cards sold. We, I swear we had, like, 200 sitting there, and suddenly they all sold. Maybe they just, like, go in bigger ways now. I don't know what the selling factor is, but apparently it's a bit different than I expected. QA office and marketing department are both locked at the moment. And you can't actually research them. Like, there is nothing to research them, if, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, they aren't actually researchable. Yeah, I kind of researched all the stuff here. I guess it's just not in the game yet, maybe? How much are we making on our cars? Almost 5%. Eh, that's not bad, actually. Less than a grand, though. Seems worse when you put it that way. And I think we've got one last thing in the passenger airbag to do. And then we'll have everything unlocked. Thankfully, adding things like passenger airbags and aluminium bodies and stuff don't actually seem to change the uh, build time. Which you'd think, you know, you're doing more complicated things, adding different things, working with different materials. It might take a different time, but luckily that's a bit too complicated. So it, it doesn't change it, which is great. Makes it much easier for me. These two are always overloaded. I wouldn't know what I'd do now, right now if I didn't actually have the uh, ability to manufacture, because that's cutting my costs quite a lot. If we actually have a look at costs right now, expenses, components, raw materials actually take up a big chunk of the components, rent. Ooh, that's large. Wages. Wages science. Debt repayment. Debt interest. Mm. What about my loans? How are we repaying these? Like, what are we on? Outstanding amount. About two thirds. I think that's everything unlocked. Goodbye research costs. Hello, sweet, sweet money. Hi. You're getting deleted. You're getting deleted. You're getting deleted. You're getting deleted. I'm just making everyone redundant, and I'm a little bit too happy about it. I probably shouldn't be, like, that happy. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm majorly, like, restructuring the company. I'm getting rid of an entire department because there's nothing left to research. Ooh, science is here this peak. We've hit peak science. Okay, let's get the final load of upgrades. So, there wasn't anything on Axel as far as I'm aware. No. 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 Fuel tanks. No. Fuel tank. Roll cage. I think we've got all the upgrades. Yeah, the aluminium body. Done. Right, so that comes out there, then goes into hood. No upgrades there. Trunk. Powered tailgate, reversing camera. Right, next, bumper. No. Rear bumper, no. Bottom trim, no. Front arch, no. Rear arch. Vent. Right, anything cool in the roof? We already kind of got all those upgrades to the roof. Door panel, now this. Tons of awesome stuff in the door panel area. So lane departure warning, central locking. These cost a lot. Keyless alarm. Da, 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 da. It's really expensive. Look at that. Central locking costs a grand and a half. Okay. Then what do you do after you've got central locking? Windows. Electric windows. Really? We hadn't had electric windows till now. Can see why people maybe weren't buying our cars as often as they really should have been. Uh, and that would be wind mirrors, which means we go to painting. Da -da 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 -da. Painting is done. Once we get past painting, we are in the land of flywheels. Pretty sure you can't really upgrade those. Starter motor, vents, radiator. Just double check radiator. 
Exhaust, don't think there's anything exhaust. Wheels, right, there's definitely fancy stuff here. Spare... Spare wheel, there we go. Tires, tire pressure sensor, don't mind if I do. Brakes, now apparently there's a lot... Yeah, anti-lock braking, cool. Adaptive cruise control, cruise control, all of these go in the braking area? Okay. Traffic awareness camera. Okay. Oh, traffic awareness cruise control, that's fine. Uh, do 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 do. Installing all of this. Now you think, you know, cruise control and, you know, the option to have traffic awareness cruise control or whatever, adaptive cruise control. Because you can have one without the other, you think that you don't need both, but I'm pretty sure the game doesn't work like that at the moment. Otherwise, you know, it would grey out as an option or something. I think the game currently just sees it as, oh, cool upgrades. Doesn't see them as occupying kind of the same niche. Uh, auto steer. Automatic. Right, horn. No. Seats. There's definitely going to be fun things in seats. Heated seat. Leather seat. Powered seat. Driver airbag. Passenger airbag. Just the extra ropes we don't have. Okay. And then we need to get this over here as well. So that was the seat area, windscreen, we already got that, aircon, pollen filter. I fully approve of having pollen filters, let's get rid of that nasty, nasty pollen. Then quality check. Oh no, electronics. In-car music, we didn't have in-car music. Phone support, voice recognition, sat-nav. This is a pretty major update. It's no, you know, oh, we got rid of the headphone jack, so you have to use our proprietary wireless headphones. But it's a major update. All right, how's that doing? Yeah, that's good. Uh, you are the Carface 3.0. And yeah, of course, there's going to be many iterations of these coming out of the lines. I'm going to go with like a 4%. But now these are fully upgraded. This is like the max awesomeness you can have in a car. And on one of our faster production lines. That said, we are still seeing bottlenecking around here. I really need to figure out what this bottlenecking is. Car face 3.1. What is this bottlenecking? Uh, this fit light thing could be... Ooh, hello, upgraded. Car face... 3.2. What I'm thinking is, right, the issue we have here... Is one's turning down here... Two are turning down here, they're getting here, they're going, oh, there's someone in here, and then they're queuing for this. They're queuing for this, but only one could be in here at a time, which means we're getting no queues for this one. So we need to either lengthen the spin around so that there's a queue going in here. The problem is we can't really because of the way the steering wheel's set up. Let's see, is there any way we could do that? We could shift you to here, we could shift you to... Let me see, one, two, three. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, if we shifted the steering wheel around. Completed a few cars, but it happens. Um, yes, that would work. Right. So... Engine, fit steering wheel, what was it? Which one was it? Fit steering wheel. And this was steering column. Okay, so steering wheel. We could have swung this out here. That would give us more room.
Not that it really needs to be done. Right. So, one and two. You feed into here, and if you don't, then you overflow. Cool, that works. You go in here, and you overflow in there. Or maybe it'd be better if you went in here and then overflowed into here. No, I think this is fine. And then I want you to have like a run in here and have to choose early on. So you've actually got a queue for here as well. And that should help. Right, upgrade you. Upgrade you. Uh, car face 3.3, .3, isn't it now? Car face 3.4 Insufficient resources Why? Okay Interesting I need to really see this moving at full speed to get a feel for it. This one is now the bottleneck because everyone's getting sent down here from this side and this side isn't. Yeah. We need to have a queue for this. Right, everything basically needs a queue. Okay, so this is a steering wheel section. Let's just delete the steering wheel section for now. We'll see how we can improve the situation. Now, one thing we know we need is we need, like, a queue in, even if it's only one. We also know that we need a queue into our next thing as well. So, fit steering wheel. We need three of these with upgrades. And how much room do we have? Why didn't I think of this before? Such a simple solution. Put one here, we put like a little round robin. We've done it before. There's totally like many different ways you can play the round robin here. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. Maybe it'd be better one up. Yeah, do one up. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. And then, oh, for God's sake. And then you get to pass out and you get to pick if you want to go left or right. Can we get this to work? There we go. Right. Now you need to be upgraded with extra robots one. Time. Why would it take that long? 9.14.
You know what? It'll do. I don't know why it's going to take that long, but whatever. Oh, no stop plan as well. Get steering wheels over there. Okay, let's see this work in like full swing. Oh, you're blocking that. Oh, right, I didn't. Whoops. God damn it. We should see cues. Yes, we're seeing cues. As fast as they can process them. Which is exactly what we want. Beautiful. Uh, you are the car face. I think we're up to five point. Sorry, three point five now. We can ask for a little bit more. Now, question is, why are you taking six point seven three seconds? The upgrades must add extra time that it didn't say. Oh, that changes everything. Yeah, look at the fit seats has increased in time as well. I was wrong. Oh, well, at least that somewhat helps. It's just a little bit over three seconds now. This is a long episode, I know. At least it seems to work now. Oh my god, the car face. I was hoping just to get everyone through the ridiculously long line. Since we're selling well, I'm actually going to try and go for like a 5.7%. 5.8. This is 1.5 grand per car. Ooh, seats. Come on, we need more seats. Please send seats. Barely keeping on the edge here, the seats. Okay. Now, of all these additions we've done, we've definitely slowed down the production chain, but at the end, it does seem to really car face 3.7. Did we do a six? I can't remember. Damn. How long do you take? Yeah, you're acceptable with two. Actually, you're not acceptable with two. Wow, you've gone up like a long time as well. Six seconds exactly of all the upgrades. Good. Thick windows is fine. Thick windows is fine, yeah. Try to get painting. Yeah, painting's fine since we've got three of them. Seat install is taking ages now. We we're hoping to get these going like pretty fast, but seat install has gummed everything up. Look at this. The seat used to be, you know, two of them would do it under six seconds. Now we've got two of them doing it just under eight. I think we might have to try and put like a third seat area in or something. That means ripping up that entire area. And to be honest, I don't really feel like it. It's a bit just, you know, a bit too much work. 
If we get enough money, maybe we can set up a proper, like, three-second car production facility. We'll need probably, like, 15 grand for that, though. Let's sprawl over, like, many areas. Probably just all the way through here. Lots of space in between so that we can alter it, chop change stuff as we need to. Really? Car face 3.8? Damn. Yeah, everyone's been held up by the sit seats at the moment. It's actually slowing us down quite a lot. Because we're running on what? 4.2 sec 4.8 seconds? 3.5 plus 4. Uh, 3.9 seconds. Right. We're running at 3.9 seconds. We should be running at 3. So we've actually added uh, about 30% to our production time. This is holding up the entire production chain. So frustrating. So very frustrating. And of course, because it's backed up to the horn, we'd have to shift this forwards. Which means there's no room, so we'd have to shift it out sideways, take a wide turn, and then bring it back in. Like, we could do that. It's just effort. And look, our cars are selling actually really well right now. 3.8 must have been a fluke. Something because I changed something at the back. Because we've now got 3.7 uh, again. So 3.7 is actually more advanced. Which has got a 6.6% .6 margin on it, which isn't bad. We'll upgrade that to like an 8% margin. See what we can get. But, for this episode, I've been Andrew Listen. If you've enjoyed, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. 3.4 just came out of nowhere there. Cool. And a 3.7. 3.6, 3.1, oh god. Hopefully you'll sell, we will be fine. Uh, next episode, I think what we'll do is we'll try and actually get a three second fully upgraded, maybe even better than three seconds. Nah, if we try and do better than three seconds, it's just gonna be doubling up on something. I think three seconds is about as low as you can go. We've got enough export places, we could just build like something ridiculous. But the idea is going to be we're going to upgrade things as we go along, see what the time is to produce, and then we're going to be able to better suit our needs. Uh, ideally, I want about 15 mil for this, because we're probably going to end up having to rent a couple of places, and then the exports aren't going to necessarily be at the end of the production chain. They're going to be like, oh, well, we finish our production chain here. Let's send the exports here, 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 here. Just send them all over the place. And maybe I'll fix this off screen. It's like really bugging me. I don't know. We'll see. This is working really nicely, though. Look at that fix. See? Everyone's always got a queue. Oh, you don't have a queue. There we go. You've got a queue. What about you? <gasps> no queue. Oh, that's inefficient. <clears throat> okay, my voice is giving up. Until next time, like, subscribe, comment down below, and of course, stay shiny.